I'm here on step 91 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web designs, third project, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. So instead of using red, we can use RGBA because this red color is our RGB example where we use our all RGB um, colors. And it, you can see that we have, we're using three different um, ways of describing color. And so red is RGB, green we're using hex, and for blue we're using HSL. So for this RGB, or, or RGBA with that alpha value for um, opacity, opacity, um, we're gonna um, we're gonna set that to 0.8 later. But for R G and B, so R, uh, 83 for red, 14 for green, and then 14 for blue, and we'll set 0.8 for the alpha, so it's somewhat transparent. And there we go. We have a slightly different color. It's a little bit red, but it's a lot. Uh, it looks a lot more like a shadow. Um, instead of more like a lightsaber type of thing. And so here we're just gonna fix the, um, the box shadows to look just like the one in this red color. So again, instead of um, offsetting on the X axis, we'll just set that to zero, no offset on the Y. We will have a 20 pixel blur radius and then we will have a zero spread radius. So we don't want it to spread extra. And we will just do the same thing for blue. But what we can do is just, since we're doing the same thing, we'll just copy and paste what we had from earlier and put that into blue. And now everything looks um, a little bit more realistic. The uh, green and the blue still look like they are somewhat more of like a lightsaber. So now um, we can actually uh, set an alpha channel, right? So these are the, this is the red channel, this is the green channel, and this is the blue channel. And we can ju just add two more numbers or letters and we can set that alpha. And so we'll just do, put that hashtag or um, pound sign and do 3B, 7E, oops, and then 20 for blue, and then CC for that alpha. And there we go, transparency. So if we don't have that, it's one. Th it looks one way. And now that we have it, it looks uh, a little more transparent. For this last step, we're gonna use HSLA, very similar to RGBA, where you just do the regular RGB or the regular HSL, but then the last part we'll do, we'll set an alpha value from zero to one. So we'll just type in HSLA, and then we'll just set 223 for the hue, 59% for the saturation, 31% for the lightness and then 0 0.8 for the alpha. And we're done, congratulations. Congratulations, you just finished the third um, course in free CodeCamp's new responsive web design certificate.